Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a two week Aldi food shop or UK grocery haul for £90 um, on budget. And this is what I got. Also guys, make sure you stick around until the end because I'll be sharing my meal plan and lunch ideas. So I have separated everything into sections. So this is the fridge and freezer section. So the first thing I got with these light Greek style yogurts, you get eight in a pack for £1.89, which I thought was amazing and the flavours look so good. Next up, I got these yogurts for Willow, they're the squidgy pouches, you get four in a pack for 75p and they're just so handy. Next, moving on to the frozen section, I got four pizzas, these pizzas are like 67 pence each, they're the cheapest ones they do and they taste amazing. Then I got a bag of the skin on fries. They're not the cheapest they do, but they're just really good. I think they're £1.29, I want to say, for one kilogram. So Willow is with me for my voiceover, guys, as you can probably hear it. I got a bag of hash browns because I'm going to make a few cut breakfasts or English breakfasts um, through the week. I got a bag of sausages. They were one forty-five for 16 And then I got the Domino's dupe sort of cookies for a treat night for valentine's day and then i got the sourdough pizza again in the sort of domino's dupe section three pound fifty i got some cheese this was actually 500 grams of like ready grated cheese so 100 grams more than the block that i usually buy i grabbed some creme fraiche to go in the fajitas that i'm going to be making and then next up is the meat section and um, so this is obviously raw meat and then some cooked as well and first up, I got a pack of ham. It was £1.69 and you get 40 slices, so very good value. And it's actually really nice. Next, I grabbed two packs of black pudding. Um, if you're American, you may not know what this is, but it's basically pig's blood that we fry up and put on our cooked breakfast. And it's amazing. 79p a pack. Then I grabbed some bacon. I grabbed a twin pack and an extra pack to go with it because I'm going to be doing a lot of meals with bacon um, for the next two weeks. Then I grabbed a big pack of mints to do spag ball. I'm hoping to do like sort of six meals out of this. So that's why I grabbed the bigger one. I think that was £2.99. And then I grabbed a huge pack of chicken, which I grab all the time, as you know. This was £9.99. So I'm going to be doing a lot of chicken meals, chicken fajitas, Thai green curry, and also a red Thai curry. Next is like my toiletry and cleaning section. I didn't really need to get much. I just grabbed some toilet rolls to top up and a bottle of Fairy um, Comfort. Next is like the snack section. I didn't get loads because I do have a few bits and bobs here, but for two weeks worth, I think is a pretty good amount. So the first thing I got was some pouches for Willow. These are from four months on, guys, so they're great for weaning as well. But I just find them really handy if you're, like, in a rush that morning or you just want to do a quick snack on the go. They're fantastic. I think they're either 59 or 69p. Next, I always get some OT bars. They do so many flavours. So I picked up some strawberry and apple because I do have some carrot ones in the cupboard. I think they're 149 and, again, great to go with breakfast, lunch or snacks. Next, I grabbed some Scotty biscuits. Willow absolutely loves these. Um, you can get them in apple or banana for one sixty nine. Now moving over to the chocolate. I absolutely love Aldi chocolate. These are the Dreamy Bars. So they're kind of like Milky Ways. They're 89p for 16 like small bars. The chocolate bar sizes are great, especially for like kids. They're very treat size. The Romeo Bars are bounties. Absolutely amazing. Or like bounties, I should say. Then, although we did have some biscuits here, I wanted to get like a little top up. So I grabbed the four pack of biscuits. They're 99 pence and you get all of those four different biscuits in there, which is just such great value. I also grabbed another pack of the sort of chocolate digestives. They are so good, guys. I rate them highly. Then I grabbed some sort of snacky crisps. I always get the family pack of 18 with the cheese puffs, bacon and onion rings. And then I also grabbed a bag of the monster claws to try for the first time. Super impressed. So the next section is the drink section. So this is literally all the drinks that we're going to use for the next two weeks. So starting off with a crate of cola, you get six for £1.19, so six cans. They're really, really good, guys, for £1.19 as well. Absolute bog. Next, I grabbed a pack of eight sort of like fruit shoots or the fruity blasts. Um, 
Little side note, I pay £1.39 each for these when we go out for pub grab and they're £1.39 for the pack in Aldi's. Then I grabbed two bottles of the double strength squash, one blackcurrant and one lemon, but they do so many different flavours for 89p. Then moving over to the pop section, I grabbed a bottle of Tropical Blast and a Professor Peppy, which is like the dupes of Dr. Pepper and Lilt, and they're really, really good. 49p and they taste better than the actual original ones, honestly. Next, obviously, Willow drinks a lot of cow's milk. I always get the blue tops or the whole milk, but I've been starting to get the filtered milk. It lasts so much longer. The dates on them are amazing. Like these are the 9th of March. So I grabbed three of those to keep in the fridge, just saves us having to keep topping it. Then I grabbed a two litre bottle of juice. Next section is the fruit and veg. It doesn't look like a lot, but I did already have some bits here. So starting off, I got a pack of peppers. I think they're like 89p for the three. And then I grabbed some tomatoes. These are 69 pence. Then I grabbed some mushrooms. I do usually get the chestnut mushrooms, but they didn't have any on the day. So I grabbed this huge bag for 140. Then I grabbed some easy peelers, mainly for Willow in mind. They're 69 pence, so such good value. I grabbed a huge 2.2 kilogram bag of apples because everyone in this house loves apples. And I also like to make apple pie or apple crumble. I think they're £2.25, which is such good value. And then I grabbed two packs of bananas as well. Then the next section is like bread and eggs. I just felt like the eggs needed to go in the bread section. Um, so yeah, bread section. So the first thing is this brioche loaf. I get this for mine and Willow's breakfast. And we have some like chocolate spreads with bananas with this. So good, guys. And it's only 149. Then I grabbed a bag of crumpets because they're 25 pence for six. What a bargain. Next, I grabbed some wholemeal wraps. These are for the chicken fajitas. I think they're like 69 pence. Again, amazing value. Then I grabbed two loaves of the farm loaf bread. It just lasts so long and it smells and tastes so fresh. I think they are 69 pence each. Then I grabbed two packs of 15 eggs. I did not realize that these were from caged hens. I just assumed everyone was free range. So I feel awful now and will be getting the free range from now on. Then I grabbed two bags of garlic and coriander naan breads, 55 pence each. And then the next section is all my sort of cupboardy bits and sauces. So starting off, I've got these little noodle pots. They're all like Asian styled. They are so tasty. I think they're 69 pence each, but so good for having like a quick on the go lunch. I think my favorite flavor is the hoisin duck. Oh, so good. Next, I grabbed some meals for Willow. I got the vegetable and chicken risotto, which is her favorite and spaghetti bolognese. These meals are amazing if you want to do something quick and easy, or if you're having something different to the kids as well. Um, just really easy to do in the microwave, cannot fault them. Yeah. They're like 95 pence. Then I'm sure you saw them all on the table, but I grabbed loads of pasta and sauces. They're 37 pence, so like amazing value for money. I love these for like lunch times. Again, really quick and easy, like takes five minutes to make. I also use these as like an evening meal as well. Like I said, really quick and easy to make, but there's also like a recipe on the back to make a pasta bake. So out of these pasta packs, I'll be actually using four macaroni and cheeses to make two meals for us. Um, for an evening meal, I'm gonna be adding some bacon and salad on the side. Honestly, for the value of money, they're absolutely amazing. Then I grabbed some tuna. You get a pack of four. I think they're like £2.39. They're getting great for lunches, um, quick on the go meals. Really good value. Then I picked up four tins of baked beans. Honestly, guys, I really don't like Heinz beans at all. That might sound silly to say. And these are £22 and I actually love them. Then I picked up some strawberry jam just to go with the crumpets and toast. This was 65p. Then I grabbed some light mayonnaise. Um, really good value for 41p. Then I picked up two pasta sauces just to go with the bolognese and I got some whole wheat facility pasta. Um, this is going to be for like tuna and sort of lunches. I just find it's always handy to have some pasta in the house. Then I grabbed some spaghetti. It's literally 20 pence obviously for the spaghetti bolognese. And that's everything I got for £90 guys. So I'll just show you my meal plan now. 
So our meal plan consists of two chicken fajita meals, two spaghetti bolognese meals, two pizza chips and bean meals, one Thai green curry, one red curry, three cup breakfast or English breakfast, two mac and cheese with bacon meals and a treat pizza. And then the lunch ideas are just pasta packs, pot noodles, tuna mayo pasta, beans on toast, jam on toast, ham sandwiches or cheese sandwiches. Just sort of like variety and see how we're feeling on the day. I just like to have a mixture of things. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Let me know what you're having for your food this week because I'd be interested to get some new recipes. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next one.